Our children are the most precious gifts in life. We would do anything to protect them, and this video will show you how. Will you or a loved one be prepared? You will learn in the next few minutes how to perform the Heimlich Maneuver and CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, for infants and children of all ages. Every year there are 36,000 obstructed airway injuries in the home that result in emergency room visits each year. Unexpected death in the pediatric patient is usually due to SIDS, otherwise known as sudden infant death syndrome, respiratory causes, or submersion, near drowning incidents. Will you or a loved one be prepared? Will you know what to do if this should happen to you? Most everyone's answer is no. That is why this video was created, to help you learn the basic steps you will need to help save a child's life. Approximately 1,000 children a year die because they accidentally inhale rather than swallow food. Food or candy gets stuck and blocks the trachea, making breathing impossible. Death follows unless the object can be expelled from the airway. Are you okay, Lexi? Here are some indications that a child is choking. A child cannot speak or cry out. A child's face turns blue. A child grasps desperately for their throat. A child has weak or high-pitched noise. The rescuer stands behind victim. Rescuer makes a fist with one hand. Put the thumb side of the fist on the child's abdomen, slightly above the navel and well below the breastbone. Grasp the fist with your other hand and give upward thrust into the child's abdomen. Give thrust until the object is forced out or the child becomes unresponsive. <laughs> Heimlich for a choking conscious child. Step 1. Determine if the child can speak or cough. If not, proceed to the next step. Step 2. Perform an abdominal thrust repeatedly until the foreign body is expelled. If you can see an object in the throat or mouth, remove it. If child becomes unresponsive, first you want to check responsiveness. Are they breathing? If child loses consciousness, if the child becomes unresponsive, stops breathing, or turns blue, begin CPR. You want to tilt chin upwards, pinch nose, and give two breaths. Make sure you have a good seal. You should see the chest rise. Next, position hands. Find the lower tip of the breastbone. Measure two fingers and place the heel of one hand in this location. Place the other hand on top of the first hand and interlace the fingers of both hands. Lean forward so that your shoulders are over your hands. Push downward on the chest, approximately one half to one inch in depth, using the weight from your upper body for strength. Compress 30 times. If alone, do this for two minutes, then call 911. CPR for child 8 years and older. CPR for children is similar to CPR for adults. The compression to ventilation ratio is 30 to 2. Step 1. If you are alone, give 2 minutes of CPR before calling 911. Step 2. Give 2 slow breaths. Step 3. Interlace fingers and place on sternum below nipples but above the end of the breastbone. Step four, press sternum approximately one half to one inch, the depth of the chest, 30 times. Continue this until the professional medical help arrives. Heimlich for a choking conscious child, ages one through eight. Step one, determine if the child can speak or cough. If not, proceed to the next step. Step two, Perform an abdominal thrust Heimlich maneuver repeatedly until the foreign body is expelled. 
How many times do you fear this scenario? How many times do you wish we could have prevented this? Accidents happen. They are not planned. Children are fearless. Children are adventurous. No matter how wonderful a parent or caregiver you are, this could happen to you. And if it does, you need to be prepared. The average ambulance response time in the United States is 6 to 15 minutes. Drowning isn't seasonal. It happens year-round. 70% of the time it happens within the home. With these basic skills, we will help you start life-saving techniques. Doing something is better than doing nothing. You do not have to be certified in CPR to administer CPR. In child CPR, the technique is very similar to what we showed you earlier in this video. The only difference is you use the heel of one hand as opposed to two hands. First, you want to check for responsiveness. Tell someone to call 911. If alone, do two minutes of CPR before you call 911. Reason is, children's bodies respond much quicker due to their size and weight. Position child on his or her back, being extremely careful not to move or twist spine if neck injury is suspected. If the child becomes unresponsive, stops breathing, or turns blue, begin CPR. Maintain an open airway with chin tilt. Pinch the child's nose shut. Give two long, slow breaths, being sure to maintain a seal between your mouth and theirs. Position hand. Find the lower tip of the breastbone. Measure two finger widths towards the head and place the heel of one hand in this location. Push downward on the chest 30 times. Say to yourself, one and two and three and four. Repeat these steps until professional medical help arrives. A stopped heart deprives the brain of precious oxygen. CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, helps prolong life while you wait for professional medical assistance. CPR for ages 1 to 8. Step 1. If you are alone, give 2 minutes of CPR, then call 911. Step 2. Give 2 slow breaths. Step 3. Use the heel of one hand, placed below nipples, but above breastbone. Step 4. Compress the sternum approximately 1 half to 1 inch, 30 times. Continue this until professional medical help arrives. One child dies from choking on food every five days in the United States, and more than 10,000 children are taken to the hospital ERs for related injuries every year. Life is stressful, and we are always in a hurry. Even the most cautious parent or caregiver can encounter a choking incident. First, check for signs of choking. Weak or ineffective cough soft or high-pitched sound while inhaling, bluish skin or lips, loss of consciousness. Do not perform these next steps if child is coughing forcefully and has a strong cry, either which can dislodge the object on its own. Lay the infant face down along your forearm. Use your thigh or lap for support. Hold the infant's chest in your hand and jaw with your fingers. Point the infant's head downward, lower than the body. This may be difficult to do, as you can see, because the child may fight you. Do the best you can. Give up to five quick, forceful blows between the infant's shoulder blades. Use the heel of your hand. If object isn't free after five back blows, Turn the infant face up. Place two fingers on the middle of the breastbone, just below the nipple. Give five quick thrusts down, compressing one-third to one and a half the depth of the chest. Continue this series of five back blows and five chest thrusts until object is dislodged. 
or the infant loses consciousness. This can be very frightening, but don't quit. When a child becomes unresponsive, the airway relaxes and you have a better chance of expelling the object. Don't quit. If child loses consciousness, if the child becomes unresponsive, stops breathing, or turns blue, begin CPR. Tilt chin and cover infant's mouth and nose with your mouth. Give two slow, gentle breaths lasting one second with a pause in between. If chest does not rise, reposition head and try again. If still not able to get breaths in, continue chest compressions and back thrusts. If chest rises, place two fingers on the breastbone just below the nipples. Make sure not to press at the very end of the breastbone. Keep your other hand on the infant's forehead, keeping the head tilted back. Press down on the infant's chest approximately one-third to one-half the depth of the chest. Give 30 chest compressions. Each time, let the chest rise completely. These compressions should be fast with no pausing. Repeat these steps until professional help arrives. According to generally accepted guidelines, infant CPR is administered to any victim under the age of 12 months. This video was created not to certify anyone in CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, but a crash course to potentially help save a child's life. Doing something is better than doing nothing. If you only retain 20% of a maneuver and apply that to a child in crisis, you have an 80% chance of saving their life. Please, together we can make a difference. It begins with you. Encourage family and friends to order this video today. You can help save a life.